Dear students, today we are going to calculate the relativistic correction that is the uh, relativistic correction to the hydrogen atom due to relativistic effect. Although the relativistic effect in hydrogen atom due to the motion of electron is small, but it can still be detected by some spectroscopic techniques. So the relativistic correction to the kinetic energy electron it can be written as like T is equal to P square C square minus M E square C four into under root minus M E into C square. So we can expand this relativistic kinetic energy of electron up to p power 4. So here we will make the, some expansion p square c square minus m e square into c4 minus m e c square. So it's equal to uh, p square divided by 2 m e minus p power 4 divided by 8 m e cube into c square plus of this one. So we will ignore the higher term only we will take uh, up to p power 4. So when we include these values into the total Hamiltonian of hydrogen atom. So I can write the Hamiltonian equation for hydrogen atom. So it's Hamiltonian, it will be equal to total Hamiltonian for hydrogen atom is H is equal to P square divided by 2Me minus E square over R minus P power 4 divided by 8Me cube into C square. So the first two terms, that is the first term represents the kinetic energy of hydrogen atom. And second term here, it represents the potential energy of hydrogen atom. So these two terms represents the Hamiltonian, unperturbed Hamiltonian, and the, this one term. So this last term, it represents, this large represent, represents the relativistic correction. So this is the relativistic part of uh, Hamiltonian of the hydrogen atom. So I can write it like HR. So here the HR is equal to minus P power 4 divided by 8 Me cube into C square. So the total Hamiltonian for hydrogen atom which is the combination of unperturbed Hamiltonian plus due to Hamiltonian, due to the relativistic part of the Hamiltonian. So um, what we will do now, now we need to apply the perturbation theory in order to calculate the energy correction due to relativistic effect. So now we will apply the perturbation theory. So according to perturbation theory, So according to perturbation theory, the first order correction to energy, first order correction to the energy, it is equal to, I can write the first order correction to energy E1R, that is energy due to relativistic correction. This subscript R represents the energy due to relativistic effect and is equal to NLJ into MJ to HR 
L J into M J. So this is the first order correction to energy. Now I will put the value of relativistic Hamiltonian. So it will be equal to N L J M J into P four N L J M J and is equal into one over eight M E cube into C square. So here I need to calculate the value of b power 4. So what we will do in order to calculate it, uh, I will put the value of p4. So for this one, I can write it. The Hamiltonian of hydrogen atom is equal to p square divided by 2me minus e square over R. and it can be written as like p square will be equal to 2m e into h plus e square divided by r so i have to calculate the p power 4 so by squaring it i can write like p power 4 is equal to 2me4 into h plus e square over r into square. So now I will use this, val this value of p power 4. Now putting this value, uh, I can write nl p4 into nl. This will be equal to 2me into square into nl h plus e square over r square into nl. So now I can further simplify it and I can write it like 2me square into nl h square into nl plus nl into 2h e square 2h e square over r into nl plus I can write like nl into e square e power 4 over r square into nl so i can uh, open the square s plus e square over r it will be equal to s square plus 2h e square over r into e power 4 over r square so further i can split this term and i can write it like 2m e square into nl s square into nl plus nl into h e square over r into nl plus nl into h e square over r into nl plus nl into e power 4 divided by r square into nl and further as you know that whenever I, we apply the hamiltonian on any state nl and in return we get the energy and nl energy eigenvalue as Hamiltonian is the energy operator, its corresponding value is the energy. So uh, in the above equations here, I can replace the Hamiltonian by its eigenvalue. So I can simplify this equation. So the equation will be now uh, NL 
p power 4 into p power 4 and l it will be equal to 2me square into e n square plus e n into n l e square over r into n l plus e n into again I can write it like that e n into n l e square over r into n l plus okay I can write it here I can write it like this one plus e n into n l e square over r into n l plus n l into e power 4 over r square into n l so as the value of 1 over r and 1 over r square so we have already calculated these values in our lecture of spin orbit interaction part 2 so you can go to that video in order to check the value of 1 over r and 1 over r square so here i will write the calculated value of 1 over r and 1 over r square from our that lecture so these values are equal to nl into r power minus 1 that is 1 over r is equal to 1 over n square a naught and the value of nl into r 1 over r square into nl is equal to 2 divided by n cube into 2l plus 1 into a naught square so by inserting the value of 1 over r and 1 over r square our equation will be it will be equal to n l p power 4 into n l this will be equal to 2 m e square 2 m e square into e n square plus 2 e n into n l into e square over r into n l plus n l into e power 4 divided by r square so now I can insert the value of 1 over r and 1 over r square so this will be equal to 2m e and I can take the e n as a common e n square as a common and so it will be equal to 1 plus it will be equal to 1 plus 2 e square over e n into and value of 1 over r is equal to 1 over n square a naught plus e 4 divided by e n square into 2 divided by n cube into 2 l plus 1 a naught square so again I can simplify this equation by making the sum replacement so as we know that e n is equal to minus e square divided by 2 a naught n square and a naught is equal to s square divided by m e into e square so we will make these two replacements into the above equation to make to further simplify it 
so I can write it like and so by making this replacement and L into P power 4 and L is will be equal to 2ME into E N square into 1 plus 2E square divided by here I will put the value of E N and it will be equal to minus E square divided by 2A naught N square multiplied by 1 over N square A naught plus uh, plus uh, it should be equal to e power 4 over here I will put the value of e n square so it should be equal to e power 4 divided by a naught square 4 a naught square into n 4 uh, multiplied by 2 divided by n cube into 2 l plus 1 a naught square so I can write it like 2 m e e power n square into it can be written as like 1 plus 2 e square divided by minus e square into 2 a naught n square divided by n square a naught plus I can write e power 4 divided by e power 4 multiplied by 2 into 4 a naught n power 4 divided by n cube into 2 l plus 1 a naught square so but I can cancel out these values n cube by n4 a naught square by a naught and e square by e square n square n square a naught into a naught so the remaining values simplified value will be equal to 2 m e e power n square into 1 minus i can write it like 1 minus 4 plus a ten divided by two L plus one and further by simplifying I can write it it will be equal to N L P power four into N L it will be equal to eight N divided by 2L plus 1 minus 3 okay it will be equal to 2L plus 1 minus 3 into ME4 into ME EN scale so Again, I can put the value of E n square. So, this equation will be equal to n l into p power 4 n l and it will be equal to 8 n divided by 2 l plus 1 minus 3 into m e power 4 e power 8 divided by h 4 into n 4. So now we again come to the first order correction to energy and we can put the value of E4 to the first order correction. It will be equal to E1R is equal to NLJ MJ into P4 NLJ into MJ. So into 1 over 8 MEQ scale so now we can put the value of p4 and it will be equal to e1r is equal to 1 over 8 me cube c square multiplied by me4 
e power 8 divided by h4 n4 into 8 and divided by 2 l plus 1 minus 3. So I can further simplify this equation. How I can simplify it? I can by multiplying and dividing by c square. So we can multiply and divide by c square. So the first order correction to energy will be equal to me4 e power 8 into c square divided by 8 me cube into c power 4 h4 into n4 multiplied by 8 and divided by 2 l plus 1 minus 3. So here alpha is equal to e square divided by hc and alpha 4 will be equal to e power 8 divided by c4 h4 so here the alpha as we have already calculated in our previous lecture is it is equal to the fine structure constant it is also called as fine structure constant so by replacing this term by alpha so the first order correction to energy e1 r it will be equal to alpha 4 into m e c square divided by 8 and 4 into 8 and divided by 2 l plus 1 minus 3 so again I can write it like e1 r is equal to alpha 4 e n not divided by 4 n square into 8 and divided by 2 l plus 1 minus 3. So this is the first order correction to energy. This is the first order correction to energy due to due to relativistic effect. into the total Hamiltonian of hydrogen atom. So this relativistic correction for hydrogen atom as well as the spin orbit correction uh, are of the order of 10 power minus 3 electron volt. It's just because alpha square into E and naught is of order of 10 power minus 3 electron volt. So this was all about the relativistic correction to the total Hamiltonian of hydrogen atom. So thanks for watching. So for more videos, subscribe our channel.